Prince Philip. He was married to Queen Elizabeth II for more than 70 years, and the Duke recently returned home to Windsor after a month in the hospital following an infection. ABC's Julia McFarlane has more now from London. The world is marking the death of Prince Philip, husband to Britain's Queen Elizabeth for 73 years. He passed away peacefully on Friday morning at the royal family home of Windsor Castle. Buckingham Palace announcing the news, lowering its flags to half-staff, releasing a statement reading, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband. Philip's death coming after a period of turbulence in the family following his grandson Prince Harry's exit from royal life and a bombshell interview with wife Meghan to Oprah Winfrey. Friday, a muted reaction from the Sussex's website, reading simply, Thank you for your service. You will be greatly missed. After decades of duty, Philip retired from public life at the age of 96. That duty reflected in the tributes now pouring in, not just across Britain, but from around the world and the Commonwealth. His support and dedication to his wife, the Queen, being credited as the source of her strength, according to those who knew him best. Well, I mean, the interesting thing about him, I, 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 the way, best way I can think of putting it, is that he wore the trousers in the family in order that the queen could wear the crown. He was there to deal with all the family stuff in order that she could be the monarch. Now begins an official period of mourning for 30 days for the royal family. Saturday, gun salutes will sound from land and warships across the UK and beyond to mark his passing. Plans for a royal funeral in Windsor expected to be announced in the coming days. Julie McFarlane, ABC News, London. And today, President Biden is joining world leaders and sending condolences. He talked about Prince Philip at the White House today. He was a heck of a guy. He, uh, you know, it was, uh, his lifetime of service to the United Kingdom and the whole Commonwealth was visible to everybody for a long, long time. We really do express our condolences for extraordinary life. And also today, former President Obama issuing a statement saying, through his extraordinary example, he proved that true partnership has room for both ambition and selflessness, all in service of something greater. Well, the crucial day of testimony in the Derek Chauvin trial, a medical expert saying that there was no reason for George Floyd to die on that day. But first, at four here, a week after suffering a heart attack, a Grammy-nominated rapper is dead. The FDA's new plan to reduce toxic elements in some baby food. And take a look at that. It's not an Italy. Hi, family. Ghetto News reporter, Mary Dash 20, Mary Lee, April the 9th. Friday in my city, Chicago, 2021. This newspaper states what uh what day it is. Now they just confirmed that uh DMX has died. The rapper DMX. He had so many children, and he was worth a lot of money, and of course, he was a God-fearing person. And every time, somebody said, every time a, a white person catch a cold, you know, black people catch the flu. Now, history is repeating itself, and I know it is, because when I was going through hell and getting railroaded, this is Merrily, Dash 20 Merrily, you've got a news reporter and originator of rap. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And they, they railroaded me and said, you know, that I disarmed a police officer May 31st, 2008. And everybody know I did not do that. I would have been dead. You understand what I'm saying? But because I am the originator of rap and I've never had a new car or a day at the spa, nothing for real, for real. And everybody has come up off of me. And now that they know that I know what time it is because I was working so hard, just like DMX, the rapper, you understand what I'm saying? Trying to, you know. Uh, be the best person I could be or whatever and they use people that are the best so they can build a kingdom and you know whatever the case is you know keep their little stuff going on or whatever and stuff so you know I was on parole back in the day in Champaign Illinois and they had said that uh, Farrah Fawcett from Charlie's Angels had died June the 25th of 2009. 
the same day, quote unquote, that Michael Jackson supposed to have died. Now, just like I was watching TV or whatever and stuff, I was watching TV in 2009. And my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, who was a part of the fuckery and trying to kill me and stuff, she was the one that called me with the bad news about Michael Jackson. And she called me right when I was going to anger management class because that was part of my parole stipulations or whatever and stuff, you know, requirements. And she called and she said, you know, hey, how you doing? And I was like, you know, I thought she was just calling to check up on me. But, of course, she's just trying to put the nail in the coffin when it come to me. And she thought I would get all upset and act a fool or whatever and stuff, you know. And I'm not that type of person. I'm the originator of rap, okay? I ain't got all this fuckery to be doing. Now, hold on a second. Yeah, so I'm on my way to anger management in 2009. And she going to... She going to call me and say, you know who died? I said, oh, yeah, Farrah Fawcett. He's like, no, Michael Jackson. I said, what? And I couldn't believe it. So I'm on my way to anger management in 2009, you know, and I'm looking at the people. I said, they said that, you know, Michael Jackson died. And the people at the anger management class was looking at me like I was crazy and shit. So, you know, I got my certificate or whatever and stuff, you know, and I was on my way back to the halfway house where I was at on parole in Champaign, Illinois. And, uh, you know, before I could get there, a white couple, a lady and a man in a white truck, bumped my leg with their truck. I guess they thought I was going to run up to them and whoop their ass or something. I don't know, violate my parole or whatever. You know, you know, all this shit is crazy, man. So they did that in 2009. And now... It's 2021 or whatever the year is supposed to be, you know, because motherfuckers last so goddamn much. I don't know, and I don't want to give you fake news. If you know better, that's good. If not, then, you know, figure it out like I'm trying to figure it out. So here they said that Prince Phillips supposed to had died. You understand what I'm saying? But he's not in the newspaper. DMX is not in the newspaper. Now, whether or not DMX just died, and they just putting it on the news because he wasn't on the news earlier this morning when I was watching the news. They was just talking about Prince Phillips, Elizabeth uh, the second, so-called Queen of London husband who's supposed to have been, you know, with her for, you know, 73 years. You understand? Now, you got to remember, when my mother, Mary Lee Wright, supposed to have died March 23rd of 2000, Guess who supposed to have died? Michael Jackson's favorite friend, Elizabeth Taylor, supposed to have died on March 23rd of 2000. You see where this is going? You see the connection? Now, I'm the originator of rap. I guess you would call me the queen of rap, but I, don't, I never even labeled myself that when I gave my book away, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song. Before I got railroaded May 31st, 2008. And you got to remember, May 31st is the same day that they bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma, a.k.a. Black Wall Street, a.k.a. Rosewood. You understand what I'm saying? So all you motherfuckers with quackatoshers and nigger writers like Sarasun said, he said, stop letting these motherfuckers dictate your life. You understand what I'm saying? And get you killed for misinformation. You know, they said it's called, what they call it, uh, Contempt prior to investigation. That's what they call it in Alcoholics Anonymous. And if you don't think the police was in my AA group in my city, Chicago, on Greenleaf and Clark, you stupid. If you don't think they trying to kill me because I am the originator of rap, you stupid. I've been in fucking goddamn uh, shelters with a lot of girls and stuff. And I was the only one poisoned twice in one motherfucking goddamn week in my city, Chicago, in Uptown. You understand what I'm saying? One time in fucking goddamn Atlanta. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to figure out what, what was going on. What Why is people trying to kill me? Is it just in Chicago? No. In Atlanta, I was at a shelter. I'm the only one that got poison, food poison, around Christmas time. Nobody called the ambulance. I threw up half the damn night on all three different occasions, but out of my whole life, it's been six times since I've been, um, you know, poisoned. 
Once since I've been here at this trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637, apartment 308. I was working out at Planet Fitness for about a week. The last day before I st stopped working out at Planet Fitness, you know, I had ate some cookies, drank some milk and shit. And that night, I felt like shit. I was throwing up, but I, I still went and worked out, you know, the next day or whatever and stuff. The next morning or whatever and stuff. But I haven't been back to Planet Fitness, fitness you know, since. See, what it is, they'd hate to see us working on ourselves. And they'd love to say that DMX died of a drug overdose, just like they'd like to say that George Floyd was on drugs. And they'd love to say I was on drugs because they poisoned me and gave me drugs in 2016 and put me on a psych ward and thought I would be, a, you know, returning to drugs after, you know, I ain't been on drugs in almost 25 years. You understand what I'm saying? Outside the fact of what they did to me in 2016 on May 9th of 2016, the day after Mother's Day. You know, while I was at an AA meeting, they going to say I was trespassing and shit just so they could dirty up my name. Like Tupac said, they just want to dirty up my name and my image and all that and stuff. But they keep leaving loopholes and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So they don't like niggas at all. They don't like the fact that we be winning and we can keep up with the best of them and stuff, which means they must not be the best because if they was the best, they wouldn't want to discredit me because it makes them look bad, right? They think it's making me look bad, but I'm looking. I would have never been your ghetto, ghetto news reporter if it wasn't for motherfuckers fucking with me. These motherfuckers hating on Zodiac signs. I'm looking at uh, Windy City Live and they said, what's the worst, you know, uh, Zodiac sign? To date, they said Gemini. I'm a Gemini, right? They said because you know we nosy and stuff, nigga. I ain't never been nosy in my life until, you know, motherfuckers start dipping all in my business. I'm looking at the Tamara Hall show the other day for about five minutes. You understand what I'm saying? And she talking about you know the first thing to becoming a, a reporter is to not report. The news about you. You understand what I'm saying in so many words. Well, bitch, if you all up in my business, I ain't got no choice but to tell motherfuckers why. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. If something happened to you, Tamara Hall, you understand what I'm saying, and you are a fucking reporter, you mean to tell me you won't report the news on what happened to you if it's bad and somebody trying to kill you? And if not, make damn sure if somebody do anything to Tamara Hall, quote unquote, Make sure she don't do no reporting and you don't report anything. But when it comes to me, Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Mack, your ghetto news reporter and originator of rap, if you see any motherfucker do anything, you know, to me, make sure you not only report the news, but jump in it and help me whip the motherfucker ass that's trying to kill me and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So stop trying to, you know, use me for clout. Everywhere I go, they use my voice because my voice activate their credit cards and... You know what I'm saying? They had plenty of time because I've been doing this over 47 years. You understand what I'm saying? I'll be 54 May 25th, the same day motherfucking goddamn George Floyd was getting snuffed out. Now they trying to say it's May 20th because, you know, they want to make it seem like I'm crazy. But real motherfuckers know what time it is. I don't care how much they pay you motherfuckers. When I die, we all die. I perceived all this. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So you need to know what time it is and stuff. I don't believe DMX died. And if he did, you know, rest in power to him. But I believe his family had something to do with it because they had already set it up like that with Ayana and DMX, you know, turning, he, she turned his son against him and stuff. You know, y'all seen that video with Ayana. You understand what I'm saying? She the same one that was going against Oprah back in the day. And now all the enemies of Oprah are starting to jump on the bandwagon so they can get paid and stuff. You know why? Because I'm the big ticket, for real. And Oprah need, you know, all the haters, I guess, you know what I'm saying, that she had to hate me and shit. It's like, why well, hate me? If you hate me, you hate yourself and stuff. And even if I die, I'm going to be a problem because, nigga, I ain't never had shit. So what I got to lose? I don't know my family. I don't know you. I don't owe you. You owe me. So therefore... You know what I'm saying? You got the most to lose and shit. Not me. Oprah is finessing y'all ass. It's like the so-called queen in London. You understand what I'm saying? Who probably was going with Prince 
the king father. And with that, this is your get a new supporter. And that's 20 Mary Lee. Peace.